none of this is verified, so take it all with a grain of salt, but someone claims to have been part of a six-hour closed beta for Skull and Bones and wants to share their impressions, which I would love to read. Skull and Bones just had another closed beta, this one I got invited to. It has a six-hour gameplay time limit, and then you are out. So, it's only the early game that you get to play. The game itself seems very close to completion. As far as closed betas go, this is the most polished one I've played. I didn't have any bugs or see missing assets. Even the battle pass is implemented. Whoa. <laughs> the intro. The game starts out in a small tutorial. You're going to say something? It's, it's the way of the world, you know. And uh, but I'm sure it's going to be a free-to-play game, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> you know it what I mean? Be with the way that it it's works. not. It's not. So uh, oh, you are a survival crewmate from a big pirate ship that gets caught in a storm and breaks. You spend the entire hour or so sailing around in a dow. Mm -hmm. And learning how to do missions, gather resources, and fight sharks. Every time you want to craft or turn in a missions, you have to go to a base on land, which involves a long loading screen. Ooh. <laughs> Come on now. Starting conversations to hand in quests also needs a loading screen. We will know if this is for real based on this. Ooh. So you spend one to two minutes to disembark, talk, and then go back on your ship. I remember Anthem had some pretty devastating loading screens, too. Keeping the traditions alive. There is no land combat, so I am not even sure why they have land gameplay other than to help sell cosmetics since you never see your character on the ship. <laughs> the real game. Eventually, when you are done... Eventually, when you are done, you get to go to the actual main hub in the game. Here you do a few more fetch quests, and then you can craft your first proper ship with a bigger crew and cannons. Then, you have to fight some merchants and fishing ships that can't fight back. <laughs> and after that, you finally get a quest that sends you into naval combat. This is about two to three hours into the game. Bear in mind, this is a ship with two guns per side. From the ship shop... It looks like it will be the least 20, it will be at least 20 to 25 hours before you get a ship the size of the one in Black Flag. Ugh. Well, ship combat and steering itself isn't much more complicated than an Assassin's Creed Black Flag. The ship shop and cannon shop shows that you eventually will unlock ships that see more interesting or seem more interesting, like I said before, but are you willing to sink maybe 30 to 50 hours into a game before it, it gets good? Well, there's going to be pay-to-skip mechanics. What are you guys expecting? <laughs> you know who's making this? You know who's making this mother? You guys, you guys walking into the Fast and the Furious movie going, what What kind of writing is it? You know what I mean? <laughs> that essentially is what this game is. Go do fetch quests again, and again and again, so you can slowly get better gear, and eventually, hope that the game gets fun. Oh, it'll get fun real fast if you just keep paying, baby. A cha-ching. A cha-ching. I'm, you know, hypothetically, if this were real. This guy says, in six hours, I didn't have one moment that felt genuinely fun. There we go. Did you, did you hear what I just said? Yeah. He said he didn't have one moment that felt genuinely fun. Six oh, hours, and there is already a battle pass and a premium currency in the game. Because the $60 price tag apparently isn't enough. Do you think this is like an angry developer? Can you imagine them <laughs> going, so I played the beta. Dude, is you know? that, yo, <laughs> this is for real. <laughs> like, there was no NDA here. Or, you know, if, if this were true, which we can't assume. Look, I'm just going to put this up, okay? Uh, oh, maybe I should read the responses. Yep. Without that Singapore deal... This world, 
would have been canceled already. Singapore. Let's not even get into it. All you need to know is like, they need this game to come out. Do you understand? If it's just for Singapore deal, I don't understand why they didn't just make a small, mid-sized game focused on ship combat. Somebody else said that because they started it all the way... This is going to be a disaster, man. This game feels extremely dead on arrival. Somebody else says YouTubers, like and subscribe, will hype it up and shit on it once a few players play it and then complain. Can't we shit on it now? No, we can do it now. It's fine. The rest of us will. I'm talking wait, 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 wait. These, are the, these are the types of people who are like, maybe Forspoken could be good. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on. We can shit on it now. It's fine. It's fine. They had a real opportunity to make a spiritual successor to Black Flag with land exploration, swashbuckling, treasure hunting, sword fighting, and many other pirate things. There wasn't enough time, man. <laughs> Do you get that? Do you get it? Because they started it... Um, Immediately after Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Let me. When did Assassin's Creed Black Flag come out? 2013. So it's only been like a decade. You know what I mean? It's only been like a decade. Yeah, holy shit. It's only been like a decade, you know? <laughs> Somebody said exactly the fact that the game is a is boat only will be its downfall. Black Flag and Sea of Thieves. Wouldn't be half as popular without the ability to leave the ship and explore and fight. This will a hundred percent be its downfall. I'm th- I'm realizing something. Mm-hmm. I don't even think I want to hate play this. Good. Can you imagine if Velma didn't even have people to be like, "What is this shit?" You know what I mean? Ay, ay, ay. It's just there has to be something else. You, it feels I and have. looks like a mobile game. Have you seen it? Yeah, of course I have. Who hasn't? Skull and Bones there, got me tripping. I'm pretty sure that at this point we have seen like little bits and pieces of this game. Holy uh, fuck. Trailer wise. For the past couple of months, and we have been told about this fucking game for the past couple of months, and nothing has been truly shown except on how horrendous this thing is probably going to look and run on any hardware. It looked like they were shooting for mobile game. And they did not even get that. Because even mobile game... The, uh, the biggest question I have to ask you now, I'm not trying to cut you off, forgive me, but I really want to know. Do you know that the same people who defended Saints Row, that are defending Forspoken, that defend Avengers, that trying to hit to crank that, it's not so bad with Gotham Knights, that it's not so bad for everything, that you're phobic if you don't want to buy, or you, you do want to buy a Hogwarts Legacy. These people are probably going to be like, look, it's not that bad. You know what I mean? It's not that bad. Mm -mm. At this point, I feel like those people are just NPCs put in by, like, our programmers. Well, they're all puppets at the end of the day. It's it's just sad. So, we can't care. (laughs) Honestly. 